Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and thank you for joining me back in Station Ears. Um, this is episode four, I believe. <laughs> Lost track, too many games going. Um, I've done a little bit of work offline just to tidy things up a bit. I um, put a wall in here so that um, I had a bit of sort of almost privacy in the shower. But you know what I mean, it's a, it's a game, it doesn't really matter, but just thought, you know, what the hell. Uh, so I moved my water bottle tank, uh, my water bottle filler, I rearranged some of the plumbing slightly, and I moved a couple of the hydroponics pods around just to make a bit more space. Um, one here, I'm going to swap that battery out, because I see that's charged and that one's not. Um, yeah, that's all I really did, uh, other than clear up the space like I said I was going to do previously. So I've now got the two cabinets or lockers up uh, installed and moved everything into them and got rid of all the, the boxes. What I want to do today is set up oh, something else what I forget before I forget. This sort of potato seeded. So I've now got, you see in my inventory, two seed potatoes. So first things first, let's plant those. That's probably a good thing to start. Actually, how many have I got? One, two, I've got five, haven't I? So... Let's plant one more seed potato. Put the other one back in with these. I want to plant a couple of pumpkins. And then that can go back. And finally I want to plant some corn. So I'm going to make another five of these. Get enough iron to make another five of these. Um, just so I can keep things going. So the Pumpkins, once they're planted, they stay planted pretty much. They just keep producing pumpkins every now and then. The potatoes grow like this, and then you can harvest the potatoes. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to do something else first. The corn is similar. It'll grow, it'll seed, and then you can harvest it. Um, the pumpkins and the corn you can turn into soup, such as we've got here. So there's um, corn soup, tomato soup, and you have pumpkin soup as well. Um, you do need soya beans though, so uh, some soya beans here somewhere. Uh, soya bean, yeah. You need soya bean oil to make the soup. I will be planting that up next. The potatoes, we can actually turn into baked potatoes, and that's what I'm going to work on. So I just want to get this tank somewhere so it's not too much in the way, but I can get to the end, uh, filler. Oh, it's right in the way there. <laughs> Okay, it's coming to the corner a bit. That's better. Um, I've got a power cable coming in there, so what I want to do now is find my tables. So I've got two tables here. Rotating power at the front. Uh, that's about as close as I can get that to there. Drop that. Um, I can go back in there. Pick up the microwave, come up to the table, press T, and place it. And what did I drop in here instead of the microwave? Uh, 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 uh. My spanner. Yes, it was my spanner. So well, because I need that spanner now. You come up to the microwave once you place it on the bench with the spanner. Left click and it puts it in place. You can see it's been plugged in. Next I need to do is run some cabling in. I don't think I've got enough cabling here. So let's go and print off some more cabling quickly. I'd also like to automate this airlock quite soon. Uh, cabling. Probably need about 10 in total. That should do us. Now oh, well, one more. Yeah, that'll do. Turn you off. How much power we got? Battery, that's okay. 9 watts. Wow, they're producing a lot. <laughs> they come at their own when the storm comes, though. Uh, the pressure down to zero. So when you're in the airlock, what you're looking for when you switch this on is the external pressure here to go down to zero. So I'll show you, I'll just quickly show you just for people who don't know to close that. So I'm now in the sealed room, turn that on, and down the bottom right hand side here you can see the pressure dropping down to zero. Then you turn it off. Right, go in. That's just that gas rushing in there because I've just opened the um, airlock. So cabling, yes, cabling. I need my wire cutters. And I need to run the cabling up. Uh, 
and into there so now that can turn on and that can turn on as it's flashing orange because there's nothing in there um so again i'm not going to have some potatoes just yet because i also want a fridge because you need somewhere to store your food once it's ready so what do we need for a fridge let's go and have a look because i cannot remember the top of my head it's off definitely off yeah and that is the electronics printer fridge kit I need gold in there have I got any gold anywhere contents nothing iron copper silicon why don't you show me contents contents nothing right have I got any gold here no I don't how much coal have I got in here 1.5 and I need 5 grams okay bear with me I will be back shortly I'm just going to go and mine some uh, gold so I've got the wrong card in here once I swap the cards over I put everything away so I could transfer stuff around in my inventory so not just yet <laughs> I need to sort myself out first Right, which card is it? Airlock, don't need that. Advanced airlock, don't need that. Tracker, that's the one I want. That can go in there, don't need that on me. Um, uh, so can that. That's so can that at the minute. Right. Try again. Swap the tracker out. Put that in my hand. Don't need that open. What's the battery doing on? It's 100% good. Turn that off. I'm fairly fed and watered. Uh, oh, I will need to get some tanks soon, some filters soon. Um, and what I will do is I'll swap my battery out while I'm here. And close the door. Vent all the gas. And now we can go out. Oh, and look at that. Sun's just coming up in time. Wonderful. So right, let's see if we can find some gold. Uh, how much of pressure have I got my jetpack? 1.8, what have we got on the wall? Is this still going? See, that's set to 5,500. So that's just now stopped at 5,500. So, oh, bring up my backpack. Swap that out, it'll start pressurising that one up to 5,500. There we go, see. I've now got a full jetpack. That's quite an easy way to do it. Right, let's see if we can find some gold and here we are back um, the observant amongst you probably realised I had some gold on me the whole time um, I didn't spot it <laughs> so let's how much gold do I need? 5 grams ok so let's just throw this in here for now turn that on um, I also got a load of coal while I was out, a bit more iron and some silver and a bit of um, copper so it wasn't a wasted journey. Let's um, just stick that in there, just to make sure we've got enough power going. I still obviously need to sort my uh, solar power generate um, solar power. Um, that will be done in a later session. The other thing I want to do is get uh, my advanced furnace set up today. I do have it, it's inside. I will need another couple of frames around here cause I, and some tanks. So let's turn you on. What have you got in you? Have you got any iron in you? Iron, copper, silicon. Yeah, let's get the iron out of you. Put you in there. go back in here for now actually 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 I've got loads of steel haven't I it's cheaper in steel so let's see 
stop that temporary and grab the gold. Right, gold. You can go in there. Uh, fridge, let's quickly make that. Turn that back on. There's our fridge. Um, I want steel out of here. Steel in here. Yep. There's the steel, but I want to put everything else back in because I don't want to lose it. Another thing I'd like to do at some point is create a... Oh, I just put the bloody steel back in there. I want a numpty. <laughs> um, the other thing I'd like to do is create a weather station so I can see when storms are coming because at the minute I've got no way of predicting when the storms are about to arrive so that's something else I'll want to work on right turn off put you in there steel frames I want one two three four five of you let's quickly set these down um, then I want steel sheets and I need about six steel sheets. Keep that one back for the time being. Where's my welder? There it is. Better check how much gas I've got left on this. How much gas do I have left on my welder? Oh, 2,000, that's fine. It's okay at the minute. Right. Um, you can go off. I need a little bit more cabling, probably. So let's just grab some more cabling quickly. How are we doing? Battery, battery's good now. Six, that'll do. Right. Vent the atmosphere. Open the door. Right, fridge, 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 fridge. Now, I tend to put my fridge this way purely because the power's there and it's easier to get to. Now, you need one cabling at the end of the day, never mind. Um, it'll not go to waste, it never does. There we go, so now we have a fridge. And I can. harvest potatoes. And now to get a baked potato, I'll show you how to do it. You open the microwave, you place one potato in it, you close the microwave, make sure the power's on there, turn that on. Wait for it to go ping. Ping, there we go. Open the top, and we now have a baked potato. The rest of the potatoes can go in here for now. Let's close the door. Come on. Uh, make sure to turn the fridge on. Um, and then just eat the baked potato, same you eat anything else. You to open your helmet, make sure it's in your hand, and right click. There we go. Now you don't get a lot for a baked potato, it does go down quite quickly, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Might as well um, take a slurp while I've got my helmet on. And then just put the rest, the remaining part of the baked potato, back in the fridge. It stops it going off so quick. And we already have two new potatoes growing there. I no longer need this because I now have hydroponics pods going. So this can be broken down and put away. And it just gives us a little bit more space to work with. Um, so yeah, so that's food sorted. We can now feed ourselves. We've now got water. Okay, I need to get a bit more water at some point. Um, I need to pick up my mining backpack because I forgot to have that on me. Okay, when I went mining, 
Um, anything else I need out of here? I'll take the cabling because cabling is always useful. Uh, what's that? That is iron sheets, glass, plastic. Alright, I'm going to need iron sheets. I'm going to need... What else am I going to need? Cabling. Don't need the glass. Don't need the pipe work. Uh, take my advanced furnace. Okay, so that's food sorted. Let us go and set up our advanced furnace. Um, so I want to put the advanced furnace... Uh, put that in the wrong place, hold on. I need that and that. Oh, that's iron I need, not steel. Okay. I'll do. Um, advanced furnace. So I want to put it here. I'm going to make sure it's just above the ground. But I want a poking just through the front, like so. Is that in the middle? Yes. So now what do I need? I think I need electronic parts. All electronics parts required. So electronics printer. Have I got everything I need for electronics parts? Iron. I've got iron on me. Go in there. Fire that up. I only want one, so let's not waste it. Electronics parts. What do I need now? Welding torch and five steel sheets. Okay, so I need steel sheets. I have one on me. Steel sheets. I'm going. I'm going to need some more cabling though. Which means I need to cook up some more copper. Set that going. Should be enough. Welding torch. Uh, screwdriver required. And there we go. There's our advanced, the basic so advanced uh, furnace setup. We now need to run power into it, which is there. So I need the cabling to be run up over that left there. Uh, from more printers. Well, actually, might have enough. Let's see. Um. Yeah, it looks like I've got enough. So, our, print, our furnace now has power. But what I want is a tank, um, a thermal insulated tank, which is our pipe bender, which is you. You're going to need steel and silicon, I believe. Um, insulated tank, steel. Clear my hands. So yeah, if we have an insulated tank behind here, then we literally just feed the gas back and so forth to the tank and some insulated pipe work. It's a good way of storing energy and being able to control your pressure and the temperature in your furnace. It's a lot easier to do than the basic furnace, you're not messing around so much. There we go, now insulated pipes. Um, I need six or seven of them. So the tank to go there. That should be enough for now. 
Actually, I might move a tank back one. You'll see why in a minute. Let's move that out of the way. Pick that up. Yeah, move it back to there. Now, let's connect the input and the output. Spanner in my hand. Are they lined up? Yes. Like so. So that's connected to that. That's power. That's power in. I need some shoots. Which is pipe bender again. Is it? Basic shoots. I need six of these. I think I need iron in there. So okay. There's the iron. Ooh. Ooh, how much is it? Three. That'll give me four. I'm not sure if four is going to be enough. Although I did just cook some more stuff up, didn't I? That was gold. And copper. Okay, it's a shoot. Way and then I want an input. Is that the right way? It's the right way, and then I want a corner, and yeah, I need one more. Got any more iron anywhere? Some iron in there. Stick these back in here quickly so I don't lose them. Iron. Bring that up and over. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a slight change here. I don't like the way that is. do this in that like so this one just needs to be a straight. Can I bring it straight forward from there? Yeah, it'll just dump things there. Right. The reason I want to do that is because where's that frame gone? I want to put a frame around this because it stops it cooling down as much. And then the steel sheets. There you go, that's effectively insulating our furnace. So, let's turn it on. The way you operate this one is you've got an outlet valve and an inlet valve. So the inlet will draw gases back from there, once that's f filled up, um, into the furnace. And the outlet will push the gas back out into the tank. But obviously we've got nothing in there at the moment, just need to make sure both of these are on zero. So I'm not pulling or trying to suck anything or blow anything out. And we need to then start putting some um, pressure into the furnace. 
So it's a bit daytime at the moment. I don't really want to do it in the daytime. I'll do it at night when I can do it without it uh, losing all my... Actually, you know what? What the hell? It's not a lot. Um, come on. Oh, I need to throw it, don't I? I didn't see how many went in there. About eight, I think. Um, that should be enough to get us going. There we go. We now have a furnace up and running. Uh, let's just get some iron and go in there and see they'll be turned into iron ingot and then we just eject it and it will come out here there we go and then all we do is to save that we just vent that gas turn the furnace on that helps vent the gas back into the tank and that is our very simple furnace. A very simple way of setting an advanced furnace. Um, some people want things a bit more advanced than that, so you can dial up what you want and the, set the pressure and the temp, um, temperature, but you can get away with it doing it like this. Obviously, once you've got to start setting specific temperatures, it gets a bit more difficult, and you will need to put on um, a gas blower to blow some cold air in there to cool it down. Um, but yeah and eventually you'll get the gas in here will get so cold you just need to vent it all and re-energize it with um, volatiles and uh, like, uh, oxide but I find this works really well it saves a lot of messing around in fact let's just 13 there uh, um, Let's just dump some more in there and then we can stop, uh, extract that back to the tank at the back. Alright, so that will make it a lot easier for us to create. Oh, I'm not glad I haven't got anything lying around. Winter, right, let's how much power we're getting out now. 1.62 kilowatts, that's from our two wind turbines up there. So that'll very quickly charge our battery. I definitely need to get a, a s station one to set up for the storms, so no one are coming in. Oh, get out of that. And come indoors, how are we doing in here? So. Yeah, you can see them whizzing around there for going here now. Yeah, you see them going like bilio. How are we doing on food and water? That's all okay. It's pressure like in here, that's okay. We should be able to open our helmet without any problems in here. Yep. Is over, just make sure he's always topped up. Actually, gonna move him slightly. Move him there. There is a station mounted um, beacon you can get which is connected to a station power supply, which is useful. Right, are there any pipes in here? Don't know if I have. No, I want to expand my ventilation a bit. Um, obviously, I want to get the pressure up in here a bit higher as well. Some of these plants require a bit higher pressure than we've got. Uh, what we've got here, potatoes growing towards fruiting. Growing towards fruiting, growing towards fruiting. It's barely growing towards fruiting. Um, I need the plant analyzer to work out why. I can't really do that while a storm's going on. Um, that storm will be damaging our solar panel up there. Yeah, but there's not a lot we can do about it at this point. Yeah, and we'll get rid of that and replace it with a heavy solar panel that tracks the sun. Uh, yeah, so just pretty much waiting for this storm blowing out. There's not a great deal I can do when the storm blows out. Although it is blowing that way. 
Let's see how much battery do. Oh, my battery's a bit low. Swap that out. And actually, while we're here, might as well make use of all that energy. Quickly recharge all our batteries. There we go, as all our batteries charged, um, that's our main battery that we just swapped out. Oh, I can't say anything, can you? Um, what do we need for ICs? Oh, 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 I'm killing myself. I must have forgot to depressurize inside here. Never mind. Um, I lost a bit of gas. Why are you draining? You should be charging like mad. Bit confused at there. I don't really understand why that battery's not charging up. Um, maybe it's because this battery's pulling power? Strange. We haven't blown a cable or anything. No, as we wouldn't have a light on there or a light on there, so let's turn that off and see what's happening. Required 1.1, potential 1.6. Okay, that should be charging. Okay, turn that back on. Why aren't you charging? Hmm. Odd, odd, odd. Oh, there's a thing over anyway, a storm over. Not blowing any cables, have we? All the outputs, yeah, they were definitely getting power into there. That's strange, I would expect that battery to be recharging really quickly. But it wasn't for some reason. Okay, nothing I can do about it. At this point, um, I do want to go and get some tape. What's all that now? 90% uh, with vacuum yet. I don't know. Um, and I want to repair this power solar panel. Okay, sorry, uh, I just had some issues with my speakers then. Don't know what went wrong. Yeah, they're working now. Okay, um, what was it doing? Yeah, I don't know why that didn't charge more than that. It might be because I was charging the batteries, but there's not a lot running pulling power. Um, obviously, the doors are pulling power. None of that's on. That's on, but I can turn that off. That's on, I can turn that off. The fridge is going, but. That's not a huge power drain. Strange. I have to keep an eye on oh the grow light's going, I guess, but growing, barely growing, growing purely. Uh, barely growing. Barely growing. It needs some dark, I think. Turn that off for a bit. So what was I going to do? I can't remember what I was going to do now. I got completely lost. Right, yeah, I want to get the goggles, or the lenses. So I'm going to need Invar, I think. Oh, Inconel. Silicon steel Inconel. So what do I need for Inconel? 
in canal is gold, steel and nickel. Got no I've got thirty five grams of gold. I've got no nickel. But I do have steel in one of these, this one. Steel Water bottle on me, I didn't mean to pick up. There's a steel. Don't need you on me either. Sticky's in the way, and here's gonna get lost. Iron, oh no, no, don't steal. Gold, and what was the other one? In so, twice as much gold as I need steel and nickel. I'm going to have to go and um, mine some more, I believe. I need to try and find some nickel. Let's just dump some of this I don't need on me. Don't need you on me. Don't need that. That. Or that. Or that, if I'm honest. Uh, silver can go in here. Right. Bring that down. Oh, I'm going to need some water. I am going to need some water before we go. Okay. It's all about preparation. Okay, that's that full. Let's take it back in there. Big potato. Stick him back in there. Close dock. Battery. Yeah, let's quickly swap it out. Let's be on the safe side. Uh, so iron here. Pipe bender. They're uh, spent. Um, O2 CO2 filter. Need two of them. There we go. Right. At last, I am ready to go. Mining. I need nickel. No, I'm not. I've still got bits on me. Iron can stay there. Gold can stay there. 50 coal can go there. Right, that's it. Go mining. I'll definitely go mining this time. So let's head 270 away from my base. And we're back after quite a bit of searching around. I eventually found 40 grams of nickel. And it took some doing. So right, what do I need for more? So I've got 40 grams of nickel, I need 40 grams of steel and 80 grams of gold. I don't think I've got 80 grams of gold. Oh yeah, I do yes, 35. Do you want to put that in there? Put that right in there. That's 50. That's 85, so I want to take 5 off there. So 45 and 35 is 80. 
go my 40. Nickel. And I got 47 steel. So there's a few ways I could do so I build a splitter or I can just build something which I know I'm going to need the steel for, which is what I'm just going to do. Let's just turn this on. Uh, steel sheets, steel frames. Um, two of these, that's four. And then steel sheets will give me three steel sheets. Four, no, it's not so steel sheet each, isn't it? Um, another two. That's it. So, if I now eject the steel from there, I now have 40 steel. Right. Let's just get this all sorted so I can get a position where I can use it all. Gold, gold. Nickel, to check it is right. Twice as much gold as steel and nickel. Yeah, and what do we need? We need 25, sorry, 23.5 to 24 megapascal, but the temperature's okay. Um, we know we've got some pressure in the tank back there, so let's turn it on and see what we get. Let's have that right up. Because we also need quite a high temperature and pressure. And while we're here, let's the handle shut. Just dump everything we need in here. This will all slowly come into the chamber. Okay, pressure wise we're 1.2 so I think that's Probably everything from that tank, so we do need to put more um, fuel in. Uh, I'm going to open that one. Split half. And then I need four. It'll do. It's close enough. That should get the temperature up, the pressure up. No. Still not high enough. Okay, let's just move some bits around to close that one. Um. We are volatile rich at the moment. So we need more oxide. Have I got that? That's why. I'm being stupid. I'm actually blowing the gas out and sucking it in at the same time. Right. <laughs> Might work better this way. 29. Right. Stop bleeding it off. There we go. That's it. Just need a bit of fiddling around with. Right. So let's vent that. Um, so you're going into here. Battery needs some more power, so steel, five grams of steel. So I do need to make some more steel. Let's stop that a minute. 
What have I got in my backpack? A uh, hundred. So if I split that in half, tap that, and half of that. some more gas in, take the temperature back up, stealing it, there we go, so there's a steel and what was the last thing, silicon, if it's hot enough to do the silicon, let's see. There we go, there's the silicon. So now let's make those. These will make life so much easier. Takes a lot of the guesswork out of trying to find where the ores are. Oh crap. Um, I need the of power. Finish quickly, there we go. So they can go in there. Now I need the ore scanner. What does that need? Copper, gold, iron. Iron, copper, silicon. So Gold. Any gold in any of these? No, just what's in my backpack. So I found loads of gold when I was out, so I'm not too worried about being able to mine more of it. There we go. And I build that. Stick the chip in there. Now we need a battery. A large battery. What do you need for nuclear battery? Steel and Canada astrology. Astro alloy. Astro alloy. I can never say that one, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, just a big battery. Copper steel. Oh well, it's all in here, isn't it? You can go over here, keep it safe because you're expensive. Copper steel. Is that enough? Not enough copper. Uh, I've got some more copper over here. in here for now. And create a large battery. Or two. There's one. That one can go in there. There's two. Turn them off. Close this. on for free. How are we doing? Water. Oops, I need to drink. And some food. Yes, yes, I'm just on it. The water. Not much of a big potato left. Let's quickly do another one. Eat 
that. That one, and you can go in there for later. How are we doing? Barely growing, so needs more light again. I think. Uh, barely growing. I wonder if that grow light needs to come over some actually. I might have to move it over another one. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, actually, I think I'll move it over two. To cabling to sort that out. I oh, will, we might better do this one day. It's off, isn't it? Yeah. Got cabling out here somewhere. There we go. my character, I don't know. Well, I've killed him a few times actually in this game, but how I don't kill him every time, I don't know. Right, so that's not like can be put back on. Steel frames, I want them on me, I'm not yet. So I want to Right, um, that light should turn on now. There we go. This will create one potato seed. Okay, so we've got potato seed from that one. That's what we want. I can go in there. And we can harvest potatoes. Here for now. Where's the soya bean? Let's plant the soya bean. And maybe the pressure's not high enough in here for some of these. We've got to be with certain pressure. So let's do, do, do. Let's drop that. It might drop the temperature down. It is getting quite warm in here. I will need to think about air conditioning. Actually, I think I suppose the next thing I'm going to do is start worrying about the air conditioning. So the pressure is now with 51. Uh, moderately well. Moderately well. In fact, you know what? I can get plenty of oxide easy enough. That's dropping the temperature and bringing the pressure up. That just solves that little problem. There we go, and out with 65 kPa, 28 degrees, that's better for all of these plants. Uh, thriving, moderately well, moderately well. Okay. So, air conditioning, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, you can set it up so you can just draw outside air in when it gets too hot. Another one blows out the excess pressure. Um, that does need a lot of thought. No, it does, but it, it, it's easy to do. Um, or you can set up an air conditioner to cool down the atmosphere in here. That's uh, a bit more complicated. Um, I've shown people how to do that in the past, where you use volatiles as your um, coolant gas. Um, but I think that's for our next session. I think today we've done quite a bit. Uh, we've also got some more plants growing. We've now got our goggles, lenses, 
which you'll turn on, you can see at copper, uh, I think at vo um, oxide, at volatiles, the orange is iron, the yellow is gold, the white is either silver or silicon, the grey here is coal, um, there's green which is uh, uranium, and there's uh, a couple of other colours for lead and nickel, and there's a purpley colour for cobalt. Um, but yeah, we'll use that next time we go mining, so I'll show you how to use that. But for today guys, thanks for watching, please hit the like and subscribe, um, I will continue this series for a while yet. Um, I want to do a lot more, I need to expand my base even more, I think I'm going to push it out, maybe three more that way. Um, just so I've got more space to get things in, because obviously I want more plants in here. I need to get some air conditioning in here. Um, I need to get some oxygen generation because well, I've still got 790 litres in there. Um, that will not last forever and I will run out of oxygen. So I need to get that sorted. Then we'll start looking at automating mining. Maybe it's trying to get an AV set up. I need to get more solar power set up. I've been talking about that for a while. You can see our, our battery is just draining quite quickly now. I've got more and more things going. Fridge, light, they all take power. Um, after full sack, turn off and save a little bit if nothing else. Um, so yeah, uh, I want to automate the light so it only comes on certain times. Talking of which, do uh, just have a sensor kit somewhere? Where is it? Is that it? Nope, that's it there. I will need that to start automating things, including my solar panels. So uh, yeah, so thanks guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Strongfly Gamer, wishing you. Good night.